Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Mundan. <laughs> Getting into the corner where hopefully I won't be seen by one of the Mandragorias walking around outside. In the last episode, we started in the past. More or less. Where we saw the pact being made between the regiment our grandfather was a part of and the Dark Man. Our grandfather himself was the one who apparently signed the pact, as Walther, the leader of their company, was in a drunken stupor and it did not do so. They had agreed that the Dark Man would save their lives and prevent the invading army from reaching them in any way. The Dark, Dark Man looked like he dropped an avalanche on top of the invading forces, but in return, he wanted an unbaptized child delivered to him within 10 days after he did this. We got to witness it. It was pretty amazing, uh, the imagery that happened there. After which, we woke up, we confronted Walther a bit about this, and made our way back down the mountain. We actually... I think, are supposed to be going up the mountain with the head of Alegria, the goat, to show her what happened to the Dark Man. He is imprisoned, supposedly, in the mountain. He is not free. However, that is not what we have seen. We have seen the Dark Man walking around. In fact, he is the one who branded our one hand. In any case, we also got a, that strange key that looked like a toy soldier. So I just had to come back here first and see what it would unlock. And it gave us our grandfather's rifle. We're not very good at aiming it, though. Our handling isn't so great. However, we found two more keys while we were coming down the mountain in areas I didn't fully explore earlier. And I think one of them will enable us to access a shed by the beekeepers. And in that shed, we heard a Mandragoria. I suspect it is guarding another one of the rifle handling books. So we'll be going after that this time around. In any case, when we came down here, the, the Mandragora scared me away from the move. Movial. And I took shelter inside here. On the upper floor, we found what looked like some sort of strange demonic alarm system. A bell of some sort. We took the tongue out of it. In order to prevent it from ringing. And I think that summarizes the last episode, everyone. Or at least the story aspects, the parts of it. So let's take stock of our supplies before we head outside. We still have the beekeeper's mask, nine bullets, the book, which deals with someone being imprisoned inside the mountain. Maybe, however, it's Serpentini who has been imprisoned and not the Dark Man. Some sort of pact made there as well. We have some tobacco for the pipe, eight matches, the pipe, a lantern, and two keys. These keys have proven fragile in the past, and I suspect these ones will be as well. One time use key. I think it's looking in the other direction. Nope, it's looking right at us. I don't see the mule anywhere. 
So maybe we brought it back to the shed we originally got it from. Uh, let's run down here. Which I, I don't think this was the shed. Actually, it was the shed. <laughs> this, this was it. Uh, okay, let's at least get away from the Mandragoras. Um, so I don't know what they're actually called, but I'm totally going to call them that. And can we make it show up here if I stare at this picture? Yes, we can. Perfect. Now that I have a lantern, these areas would be a little bit easier for me to search as well, though I don't see anything special in them. All right. So, is there anything I want else I want to do? I wouldn't mind... Since I'm here, I really would not mind trying to visit the barn our grandfather is in again. If I think I can make that trip very quickly. I see no hostiles up there. While I'm doing this, I can read about Robert Barron's comments on the last video. Hey, Robert Barron. So he says, we had the same reaction when we saw the shadow of the old man on the lake. Yes, that was pretty amazing. At first, I thought that it was only reflecting the twin peaks of Mount Mondon. But no, it was the dark man standing in the lake and then the fog swept over it again. The mists of, uh, above the lake. That was such an amazing uh, scene there. That was well done. When Walter said they tricked the old man, I believe he was referring to them using Algria uh, as a sacrifice. As he blamed them for her death in the earlier episode. Yes! Yes, he did... He did say that. Darn it, I was hoping to make it up there. Okay, well, we're not going to make that now. Where is he? Is he going to the barn? Let's... Uh, no, he's just... He's just going to stand there and look around for us. Okay. Well, we're, then we're not going to the barn yet. He did say that would be the case. I, w I wonder if they somehow fooled him. That would be kind of odd if they did so. I guess we'll find out when we make our way there. It seems like the Dark Man is a little too clever to be fooled by a goat body when I'm pretty sure he wanted a human child. But maybe he himself should have been more specific with the contract. Good story progression, that episode. I can't wait to see what the painter has locked away. I forgot about that. We found and placed another tile into the wall that leads into his uh, the cellar location where he has some sort of special painting or something. Uh, or some sort of special, I forget what it's called now, not a painting, exhibition. Good, Tim, careful. It's a pretty good truck. Actually, never mind. We're gonna go up to our, to our to our father's house. If I can see this guy, I'm gonna ram him. And I don't I don't see him anywhere. Great brakes on that. I don't think that can fit up here.
Il me legge il clavau in flomma e svenius. Io sto un fla el, a quel camaliau el. Io vengo da un fly in via per rompere quella sua maledizione. Tat. His eyes moved slightly, so I think he is actually still alive. I see nothing else here that is useful to us. Okay, so we didn't miss anything here then. Just wanted to double check. It's been a while since we've been here. And I like going back to investigate things a second time. Okay, so I was collecting hay. I suppose we can gather more of that as long as I'm taking the mule ball around. It, it's tempting to visit Jeremiah while I'm here, but I think I think we'll just go back up the mountain. I I do have a hunch that we will probably need more hay for some purpose. See a horrible monster. And I don't think we missed anything in here, right? This is where we found the other... I did forget about that mask. Wow. And that mask shut its eyes and mouth as you walked up to it. That's pretty awesome. There was nothing else down. Well, actually, we, we have a lantern now, so we should thoroughly check the place. But I think that here was just some food that we ate. And that was it, if I recall correctly. We haven't done enough to warrant saving the game. The only thing upstairs, but we're here, so we'll check. The only thing up here was the book. I would imagine if you set this place on fire, the whole entire structure goes up in smoke. But maybe that's not the case, and it is only the hay.
You know, I'm still a little confused about how our grandfather and his regiment even m met the Dark Man to begin with. How how did they even draft a contract with him? I don't remember this. I don't think we've learned about it. Sinvia tells apicultures per recalcia in tequets de l'urmel legendar. Perceva la sulette via a la bonna tras la casa de quepictur. We have been here before. Okay, I remember that note now that I'm here. Right, and we didn't find the other way to unlock that gate yet. So maybe we'll be doing that today too. I want to explore a great amount of the stuff that I've left behind. I do think we have... For we're missing some things that we will want that can improve our statistics. Although, one second. Okay, I don't know how we get to that side of that gate. Okay, well, it comes from down in the valley. So we'll see if we can find a path to that today. Actually, I guess we'll look right now, since we're here. So there's Algria the goat. Uh, well, well, we can hear Florina with the goats. We'll come back to visit her. Let's first... Let's first explore this area a bit more. We didn't get... We didn't give a good look at this place the last time we were here. In this area. Because we were... It was dark outside. And there were Mendragoras everywhere. Gotta hope I'm saying that correctly. I think I am. That's the painter's house. We've already been back in there. This is the opposite side of where Algria, uh, Algria's body had led us last time. I think we want to go down there. There's the bee cabin. We can even see the beekeepers from here still doing their job. Or still patrolling. I actually don't know what their job is any longer. I wonder if there's another jar of honey. Now in the cabin again. We know there's nothing else in this structure. So time to explore maybe some place new. I don't think we were down here before. Hmm, some place for a lantern or something else of that sort. That's the line for the lift. We saw it. 
uh, up on up there by the painter's house. Must be a speedy way to escape that location if you're under attack while there. There's no way to call the lift down here from what I can tell. I I guess there's some sort of wench or pulley mechanism to get it back up there. And this is where we saw the dark man that one evening. When we looked outside of the painter's hut and saw him under the light. I think it was there that we saw him. Cemetery and the chapel. The bridge. I still don't like seeing those things of hay. Can I burn this? We can burn it. Interesting. I wonder if it, when we burn these, it prevents the uh, walking types showing up from this area. Like, if we destroy that now, does that prevent us having to worry about one of the Mandragorias in the future co coming to life here? Maybe we'll get some information about that being the case later on. We can make some hard choices about where we want to spend our matches. Remember that I think matches are also used to light the logs in the oven. There we go. Now we have an alternate way to get back up here. Let's bring the mule back to us. Because that's quite a step to walk. I do still find it very interesting that Kurt in here is completely fine with this means of transporting the Muvel to him. Maybe his grandfather did this as well. And so the, the idea of magic uh, is not unheard of for him. Like it's none of this seems very strange to him. I keep looking over to turn off the car's engine. That's not how this works, Tim. Hi, Florin. Oh, sorry, Florina. We're back. Adia, Florina. Hello, Alegria. I serve need the two see me steer. Im flabain lair freist. I de verer a mies discendenza za pascular in pas. Ti estade la partida, cum il tat assignava von biars on sque pact. Ai, en adat mis lat chot al sudats. Walter, no dere in bun corporal, ma al dere mis patron. Ed e dere si a preferida. Ja es abiau su entre la lavina. El aveva dato dei dits per pagare loro debiti. No, sto in osir in quello in sei scuol. Forse ti potrei non tenere su. Non ci sono bene vampi tard. Guai, fine. I really like that companion. I I think they did a fantastic job with her voice as well. It doesn't seem... its It may seem a little silly, but it doesn't seem out of place for her to talk like that. And before we go up there... I'm sorry, before we go up the mountain, I do want to investigate that little... Oh, there's actually several things I want to investigate, right? I have the other key. So we want to go back to the beekeepers, actually, and see about that one book. Book. That one shed, which I suspect has a book in it. We could wait till we come back down the mountain, which I suspect we will be doing, but I'd like to do it now. Oh, 
Oh, uh-oh. This has a familiar feeling to me with all the hay around. That there's another Mandragora in here. Oh, this is interesting. This looks like the clock figure that we see whenever we interact with any of the timepieces. Some more bullets. Oh, there is a rifle book here. Quay in a pagina or din manual de plibau per in a buis de militar. A rifle handling has improved. In a fotografia veia de maisca a font and semen contat. As a zevel shibuyen sil movel, if he devil scotta di cunel. Sil a varta vosa in a schizza. Still haven't seen this. I still don't know where exactly this is. Is it on the mule itself? We'll check when we get back to it. Three more rifle rounds as well. Okay, we'll just be taking the mule up here. All right, so we're gonna go back across the bridge, through the painter, uh, through the painter's house, back across the bridge to make our way back over to the beekeepers, so that we can. So, well, you know, but Tim, it it would be safer at night. The beekeepers are all asleep then, so maybe you go back there later. Okay, we'll go back there later. I'm assuming we'll probably go back and see Walter at some point as well. This Mewvel has amazing turning. Turn capability. It is really, really, uh... How to describe it? It's really, uh... Precise? Actually, that, uh, precise is the wrong term. Uh, f a bit floaty. Is that a thing we can destroy? I don't think so. Okay. Wow. We have a whole nother area of the game we haven't even stepped into yet. Uh, probably close enough. Looks like the mule itself is not supposed to be taken up the mountain. We'll 
we need to turn on the ski lift. Oh, there's no removal poster even here. There is another pitchfork. That makes me worried. All right, so we're doing a lot of exploring probably this episode, everyone. Let's see what's down here first. A toilet! Up here? Toilet paper. We didn't take the toilet paper from Whatchamacallit's house. And now I guess I'm kind of glad we didn't. because we. F oh, wait, did we? Yeah, we only have one roll. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. These houses have seen better days. Another reason why I suspect we're in some sort of alternate reality. Walter seemed perfectly content with living his life in his, uh, his bunker. Despite the fact that there's no one else really around anywhere else on Mundan. Except Jeremiah. I thought that was a painting for a few seconds. No, that's a, that's a window, Tim. Another coffee advertisement. Quels pretending que que fe fece curaja. Nothing around the back here. No real straw up here, which makes me hopeful that we're not going to see any mandragoras up here. Sonda, durant meu survetsch de noc, a eu pus preveu la gondla stira. The dark carriage, interesting. We still haven't done a whole lot that requires saving the game. Let's not save it quite yet. Alright, are there power cables going to this building? Sounds like it's sleeting outside. So those are the cables for the cars, but I don't see... Oh, there, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's right here in this building. Did I miss it? No. Yes! I must have. Oh, it goes through this building, but then goes someplace else. Should we take the mule there? I guess we'll do so. Leave it in the woods. I don't like the markings by the by the structure. Let's investigate that first. Looks like they were in the process of building another building of some sort. Oh, 
Hello? A third key. There was another structure we passed before we parked our removal the first time there. So we'll probably visit that on the way back down the mountain. Yeah, it's sleeting, I think. I can just barely make it out on the monitor. So you are the power station. Judging from the bottles, I'm going to assume that Walther was here. I can't take the... I forget what those are even called. This, I'll call them ski sticks, so they'll stop positive that's not correct. I <coughs> got Jimmy Riddle Runal. Yo. The PBR's on. Sas Shail Runal, per my. Sas Joy. Yo, gentle any electricity. Portus and me, Pupida Hisley. Since it was a. <laughs> Poor guy. I was wondering why we would want this. Oh, there is a Muvel sign. How about that? But this, I would imagine this puts the Muvel into the shed next door. Oh, well, that was easy. So let's go ahead now and flip the switch. Okay, so I th I don't need any more hints than that to tell me that we should explore everything else we want to explore before we head up the lift. So let's so let's go ahead and indeed explore all the things I had talked about earlier. What on earth is this? The stone looks rather weird, doesn't it? It looks like some sort of like alien flesh to me. Oh, hold on. Hello. There's a there's a snowman out here. But you're not together. Dismissing a hat. If I find you one, we'll bring it back to you, sir. You will not go hatless for too long, I hope. I don't think we can make it up to that building. I think we have to take the ski lift to access that.
but this building we can search. That looks like the structure we had seen earlier that they didn't finish actually they didn't finish building it. della notte vergata a fatti da un tour nel quale masce dell'elettricità per cleccia la colligezione della splatta con la porta della pompa venuta interrotta that's a strange device We did hear something breathing, right? Together, I think we... Oh, what's... No. Okay, hold on. I, I just saw that. That's a hint as to whose place this is, but that's all we know. There's another one of the, as, as we've all seen, there's another one of those alarms up here. But I'm going to leave it alone at this moment. We might be able to use it to our advantage if it brings people, if it brings creatures there. Maybe it keeps them away from other locations by drawing them there. We can then explore other, other areas a bit uh, in safety. Sorry, I saw saw a hole in the wall, and I have to I have to see what's on the other side of it. And there's nothing on the other side of it. Okay. And what is that building here? Oh, we haven't been in that building. We haven't been in that building, everyone. We're gonna go down. This is, it looks like there's another singular lift, like the one we saw by the painter's house that can get you down here off the mountain. Some very peculiar plants growing down here as well. We've seen these growing in other places. I don't recognize them. Some rifle rounds. Good thing we poked about here. Not cold enough to turn the water to ice. With some, with some water outside, I'm thinking this is another hub we'll be able to save the game at and sleep at. Okay, 
It sounds like that guy's having an interview with his cow. <laughs> No bed here, just a place to make coffee. Oh, snowshoes. Oh, uh, those could be handy for going up the mountain. That's what I just said. Snowshoes are equipped automatically when on snow. You can move faster in them. I didn't see any coffee here, but it doesn't mean there isn't any. So, maybe it's... I saw a ramp out back. Let's see if that takes us to a different area of the structure. Maybe there's some coffee up here. Well, if there is, we're not accessing it until we f are coming back down off the mountain. Okay, then I think that's it for this area. I am curious if we miss the other tile that we need. So more rifle rounds in that structure, but that was it. The Mewville actually feels like a jet ski to me. <laughs> a, a jet ski is a uh, snow ski, snow speeder. That that's I think that's it. So we want to go back to the beekeepers and explore that one shed we left behind earlier, and then we'll go up the mountain. I can't think of anything else we've missed when it comes to places I've seen and been in but couldn't access that we might be able to access at this point. So let's head on back down the mountain. Let's go ahead and grab some some more hay. This shouldn't take too long. It gives us a chance to see how sneaky I can be past the beekeepers on the way back. We have to go across the other side of the lake. And we can't go through the labyrinth uh, to get there. Uh, that would actually be a longer trip, but we, we can't do that. I wonder where that other tile is. We have to go through this house, Tim, to get to that side. We 
didn't explore that little ledge either. We could try seeing where that... Le oh, that leads under the waterfall. Interesting. And I think we did check that before. Yeah, we haven't seen that path. We'll see where that goes if we can access it. I, th I guess we can do that. Well, we should do that on the way back. Oh, hello. There's a light switch for the bridge. I did not see that last time. I wonder if... If Serpentini's son erases the bridge while we're on it... Does that erase us as well? I guess you'd have to draw us on the bridge first for that to work that way. Okay, I thought the beekeeper would be here. I'm glad he's not. That makes this much easier for us. It feels weird to carry that around with me if I'm not going to uh, use it to smoke. Right then and there, just to have it ready on my lips. It feels like I should be smoking a pipe if I have it raised. So that's, that's why I don't keep it uh, out. That's the building we want to get to. Yep, nothing to talk about. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm, I'm very sleepy. Uh, drug uh, side effects, and so it's been, it's tough for me to actually even think of stuff to talk about today. Did we investigate this side? I don't think we did of this uh, this wall. Just in case there's something here. There is nothing here. Okay. And we did, I think, thoroughly search the cannon. Just double checking, there was no reason for us to destroy any other snow drifts. I don't hear any bees here. I see no beekeeper patrolling this path at this moment. If I had found more matches, I might be have been willing to use one here. But since I don't, we will defeat this creature with good old pitchfork instead. Crap. 
There is a beekeeper here. I can't remember if he goes... I think he goes all the way up the mountain path, everyone. And if he does that, then I want to wait here until he comes back. Before I investigate the inside of this structure. I don't want to have to fight a beekeeper and a straw guy at the same time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's heading up the mountain path right now. I guess we'll go. Sure. Pitchfork broke. That was a kind of a new one too. I'm surprised. Quels pretending que the fee fetchy courage. Now what do we fight for? Oh, another spot. Oh, there's already water on the pot here too, ready for coffee. Well, then I don't see why we wouldn't do it. So let's go ahead. Put that there. Actually, do we have coffee? I don't have coffee. All right, hold on. Is that strange bell we've seen around this horrible demon's neck? Hmm, maybe there's some coffee upstairs. A saint fighting a demon of some sort, it would seem, is what that's going to look like. Hmm. Not what I expected this structure to have. Plenty of wood, no coffee that I can find here. A journal page, which is helpful. Though I don't know what it leads to that yet. A hint as to why we're seeing more and more of these bells around. 
If I don't have any coffee, then I don't see... Can I take... Oh, and I can't take the log out now that I placed it in there. I think that will just have to stay. Okay, so nothing... Nothing here that uh, can help our statistics. Okay, I thought for sure we'd find a gun book here. One more, one more search. <laughs> one more search just to make sure. This was quite a walk to get back to. So this will be quite a walk to get back to. And no, I don't see anything. Well, I suppose we. I wanted to wait here anyway until that guy had finished his patrol and was on his way back. So now that he is doing that... Actually, did I look outside this little window? I heard the music for a tiny bit for the bees. That looks like the... Oh, you know what? We didn't walk up that path, did we? I think we can walk along the ledge here, can't we? Uh, the answer is not really. Okay, so let's double back now. And we'll check that lower path by the painter's house. Then we'll head back to where the lifts were, and I will save the game there and call the session. And in the next episode, we'll go up the mountain. So sorry, everyone. We've been doing a lot of... Um, exploring. I think it's been worth it to do it. Here's another one of those small outcrops of rock. Oh, there's... And another key. This game seems to actually have more items than you need scared about. This way, you could perhaps find them if you missed them earlier. Like our binoculars, right? We already had binoculars when we found the other one. So either we're going to be ambushed and lose some of our items, or they degrade over time and we'll need more of them. Or the game just adds more options for you to acquire them from, like locations. This way... You don't have to scour every inch of the map to find things that you might otherwise... Uh, some useful stuff that you would otherwise miss. Right, so lower path first. Which leads to the waterfall. Did we ex we explored all of those buildings? I think right. The smokehouse we did. That we did. I've drank all the coffee at all the locations so far. Yeah, you're good, Tim. I bring up the part about the extra equipment because it's it's pro it's my belief that the keys work the same way. We have like four extra keys now, and I don't think we need to worry about using them. Uh, that's right. I don't think we've missed four locations where we could have used them. Now I did investigate this before, did I? I don't think I crossed the river. I'd like to know what that is. 
Can we make it across this? This looks like splotches of blood. Hopefully I'm wrong about that. This looks like something we could have destroyed. Oh! Hello! There is a building here. El Florina. More snowshoes! I was just talking about the fact that we could find more of these lying around. Like, items that we had gotten from someplace else. Uh, do we light a candle? I have a lantern, so I guess I don't need a candle. Some more wood, and... Looking pretty good there. Grab more wood. How many matches do I have? Eight. We don't need to light it. But we already have snowshoes. Okay, so we're we're good. I thought that was a wooden pole, not a smokestack. So, yes! Alright, super glad now we, we did indeed double back. Nothing of in particular import, uh, stat-wise, in the other building. But we did get that other journal page. Our character made a little sound when he walked on that water. So I get the impression we probably want to stay out of water. Probably too cold. Oops, I'm still expecting the other beekeeper here. But if that's the case, then you should actually equip your... Your pipe. I don't hear him. I don't see him. Okay, he must have gone back to his normal uh, route. I guess to be... Oh, no, there he is. Is that him? No, that's not him. That's that's trees. Those are trees. <laughs> There's a big difference between trees and bees. A substantially large difference in height alone. Okay, yeah, let's go down this way and see where this takes us. I don't think we were down here earlier. Or Oh, I was down here earlier. Crap, it was the other path I hadn't been down. Darn it, this is the second time I've done this. Um, it's not that far away, and we really should look at it. So let's double back again. What else will be going on, Tim? But, uh, as long as you're... Well, I should really talk about the game, Tim, not about other video games in Mundon. Anything else? So... What else have we witnessed while we're here? Florina is able to shift time, right? She was able to move the sun across the sky. And we didn't seem too concerned about that occurrence. Uh, or at least certain didn't. So, yeah, he must have been exposed to magic up here at some point. 
As I was hinting at earlier, I am curious as to how these folks met the Dark Man to begin with. Who gave them the idea to contact that person? And why? Well, actually, well, why? We know. They wanted to make a deal so none of them died. Hmm. Interesting that they would have signed away someone's life, though, to doing so. There is totally a passage there. I don't know if we'll be able to access it with the water coming down off the uh, river, forming that waterfall, though. I would imagine it's probably way too cold and way too dangerous to do so while this is ongoing. There must be a way to dam it. Oh, no, okay. Nope, we're, we're perfectly, we're totally allowed straight into it. Okay. Let's see where this leads then. Another diorama. I think we'll be seeing what happened in the past if I interact with this. But let's do so. Florina? Oh, is this, is this a race? Hello, Florina. Let me find a course to talk to you, Dame. Oh, she actually responded to us. She nodded. Scoc your sesel silish carzola and jive a course. Fast, good for her. She's been at this a long time. It's been a while since me since I've had to sled down a mountain. Maybe Super Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers was the last time I did this. We're a bit heavier than her, so I'm imagining we have that going for us to help uh, our acceleration. Ooh! Oh! Oh, we lost! <laughs> we lost! All right, let's do this again. Uh, maybe we'll let Fl maybe we'll let Florina win. Can, can we let her win? I like the music to this area. Very peaceful. I guess... I guess we... I'm gonna have trouble letting her win. Oh, she seems so happy. Oops, sorry about that. This is not, uh... This, this isn't Mario Kart. Or Ballistic NG, I should be trying to run you off the road. I want to see how you handle that one turn. 
Oh, or I'll accidentally pass you. Oh, uh-oh. Locky 2, you placed me at the wrong spot. Okay, so that jump's kind of difficult to make. All right, let's do this again. <laughs> I'm not even waiting around this time. All right. Uh, there's no jumping. It's just acceleration or slowing down. But if we get turned around, we are not allowed to continue. So I'll try taking it through the building very slowly. Come on, game! <laughs> I'll be right back then now, everyone. I'll do this off-screen. Yeah, I had to take it really slow there. Oh, that's the end of the race! Alright! So it's literally through that... Through that shed. Well done, Florina. Hello, Florina. Yes, Sperta. I'm guessing we get something if we actually can beat her in the race, but I'll come back to do that later. Yep, we can interact with it again. Okay, so uh, there's an optional race here. I wonder what we get if we win. Well, we can we can think about it for the future. <laughs> uh, that last so only one other attempt had happened when uh, when I stopped the recording. So you saw basically uh, you saw me just as I reached that shed again. I actually had flipped in my sled, but I was allowed to continue moving and going down. It's just if you get turned around. Uh, you're you're forced to get out of, of your sled and start the race over. I'm guessing since you also have to slow down so much to actually cross that one area through the shed safely that you need a good lead on her because she she's going to catch up with you very quickly otherwise. And with that done, everyone, I don't think there's anything else I missed like, or that we want to explore so there's not going to be a whole lot of anything else in this episode but me getting back in the mule vault, going back up the mountain and i guess we'll i'll save the game around where the sleds are located and then we'll pick up in the next episode but we'll still have it done all this on screen and what else can we talk about then tim i mm so, okay, so something I've, I've noticed is Florina is wearing some sort of special necklace or amulet around her, which is glowing faintly. And it reminds me a bit of the Mandragoras, because I think they have something similar, don't they? Uh, near their faces? Or well, it looks like the light might be the same. I'm curious about that. Um, so with this diorama, I also am not sure, like, that's not the past, is, so, that's just some magic that Florina can, I guess, invoke or participate in, if someone interacts with it, or maybe she 
has made all of these different dioramas and to show, uh, to bring us into her world? Or these little pocket dimensions where she can show us things that have happened or we can experience an area of her life through them. I have a hunch that we may be tasked with making a choice of helping our grandfather make the decision to go through with this act or possibly preventing him from doing so. And I'm not sure what would be the correct... the correct choice there. If they didn't sign the pact, then the military might have wiped out the entirety of, oh well, of our grandfather's regiment. Actually, they probably would have done so. Where's the mule? Let's go summon it here. I thought we left it right here. Did we leave it right here? I thought I left it right there on the road. Anyway, with our grandfather and uh, his regiment killed, this would mean Florina wouldn't exist, we wouldn't exist, and so on. So, just because you might not like the way something played out does not necessarily mean it should be uh, reversed, since a lot of good can come from something bad. And the same holds true in the opposite direction as well. Maybe if we reversed this decision, uh, I'd, I'm not sure who the military is supposed to represent, like what armed force they were, but I can see that going very bad for the country here that they're in. Alright, everyone. So, we will stop here. I think there, yep, there's a time piece right inside this building. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope it was entertaining. And I will see all of you in the next one. Take care, everyone.